Hi, I'm Paul Smitherman, and this is Dig 500, Introduction to Digital Curation. This week's topic is digitization. This topic is fundamentally the starting point for thinking about the technological processes of digital curation. And we're going to take a brief look at what digitization is and some of the basic processes for digitizing a variety of media. So why do we digitize? What are some of the reasons for digitizing analog media? Digitized media can be shared via computer systems in a variety of ways. This provides greater access than would normally be possible with the analog objects. Digitizing materials such as manuscripts or audio recordings provides preservation copies as a record of the original for long-term storage or in case of loss. Having digitized media can also add value to the objects and to an organization or institution. As a marketing strategy, having digitized objects available provides an enhanced image and increased product value. Those are reasons for digitizing, but what exactly does digitization mean? Looking in a dictionary might give a definition of digitize as to translate analog data into digital data. But what is analog? What is digital? Well, here's an example. Consider a sound wave created by a flautist. Her breath, together with the instrument, moves the air. This produces a sound wave. A simplified view of the wave is shown here. This is an analog phenomenon. We could say that there are no computers involved in the production of the flute's sound. If we take the signal from her microphone and send it to a digital recording device, that device will create a model of the analog wave by assigning numeric values to points along the wave. This is digitization, taking an analog phenomenon and creating a numeric representation of that phenomenon. The process is often referred to as analog to digital conversion. The resulting digital audio object is then stored in an audio file such as a WAVE, MP3, or Apple AIF. With that basic idea about digitization, let's think about what we can digitize. Probably the most familiar example is print and paper media such as books, manuscripts, and maps. Analog audio media such as reel-to-reel -reel tapes, vinyl record discs, and cassette tapes, and analog video products such as 16mm film and VHS video cassettes. So how do we digitize these analog objects? Let's first consider print, paper, and analog photographs. Probably the most common method is the use of scanners. Shown here is a basic flatbed scanner. This scanner is used for digitizing photographic prints, slides, and negatives. And there are a variety of other scanners, such as this handheld scanner. Digital cameras are also commonly used. This system uses two cameras to digitally image books, one camera for each page. Custom setups are often used for objects such as maps. This is the imaging setup for a rare six-foot world atlas. Analog audio conversion is often accomplished with a USB audio interface, which can accept input from devices such as turntables, reel-to-reel -reel machines, and cassette decks. Conversion of analog video media can be challenging. For the ubiquitous VHS cassette, there are solutions like this inexpensive USB converter which connects to the outputs of a standard VCR. Lacking a VCR, you might use this USB VCR. For 8mm or Super 8 film, such as home movies, there are inexpensive digitizing products. This one is typically priced in the $300 range. A similar system for handling 16mm film will be much pricier but the cost may be justified if there is a lot of footage to convert. There's always the option to outsource the work to a company specializing in digitization. Here in our part of Maine, 
Northeast Historic Film in Bucksport offers conversion for many analog video objects. This has been a very brief overview of digitization. There are many more types of analog objects, techniques, and output formats to consider. For your assignment, I would like you to post a response to this video. Discuss a digitization project with one or more aspect not shown in this video. It could be a project that you have worked on, or perhaps are thinking about. Do some research on the objects, methods, and output formats needed to accomplish some digitization goal. Thanks for watching.